Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare for the Black Friday market crash. For those of you who don't know what Black Friday is, it's on the 25th of November, and basically EA yeah, release a whole load of lightning rounds, brand new packs, a really good team of the week, and also new score builder challenges as well. So a lot of good opportunities to trade and make profit. But you can also lose a lot of coins if you don't know when to sell your cards or when to buy them. So it is a really good way of making coins, but uh, you do need to kind of know what you are doing. So... Firstly, I'm going to be showing you guys the prices of players right now, and they are currently dropping. You guys can see right here, Hector Bellerin, he was going for around 18,000 coins just a couple of days ago. Right now, he's going for just under 10,000 coins on Xbox. So, player prices are dropping a lot. I will be showing you guys plenty of examples, and these are going to just keep on dropping until Black Friday, and they'll kind of bottom out during Black Friday at their lowest price. Uh, Renato Sanchez is another good example. He's gone down from being around 15,000 coins a couple of days ago to now being around 7,000 coins on Xbox. And you could easily see Renato Sanchez being about 4K during Black Friday. If you buy him during Black Friday at his lowest price, he's then going to rise back up after Black Friday. So you could sell cards like this on for profit. So it's a good way to pick up some cards and invest in them and their prices will go up. De Bruyne, a massive example right here. He's gone from being around 230k on PlayStation to being around 170k right now. So massive decrease in just three days. And also on Xbox, he's gone from being around 215k to now being around 160k. Again, in just a couple of days, massive decrease there. Lewandowski has gone from being around 225k uh, on the PlayStation to now being around 200k uh, and also on Xbox he's gone from being around 210k to being just over 150k there so again massive decrease and the price are just going to keep on dropping for players like Lewandowski also Payet right here he's gone from being just under 60,000 coins uh, just a couple of days ago on PlayStation to now being around 40,000 huge decrease there and on Xbox he's gone from being just over 50,000 coins to now being under 40k and this is literally in the space of about two or three days and these prices are just going to plummet I could easily see Pyatt being about 25k uh, in maybe a week or so Kante another good example has gone from being 40,000 coins two days ago to now being just under 30,000 coins that is on PlayStation on Xbox he's gone from being around 37k to actually being around 20k right now huge decrease in as I said just a couple of days and these prices are going to keep on plummeting and they'll kind of reach their lowest price during Black Friday now, it is not just these players uh, that I have shown you here that are going to be going down in price. In forms and all of the expensive players, including Legends, are going to be dropping. And their prices are going to bottom out during Black Friday. That is when they're going to be at their lowest. So right now, you can see the likes of Suarez, Griezmann, lots of in forms, Legends, cars like this, are selling for quite a lot. Their prices are going to drop probably by around 25% during the next week or so and it gives you a really really good way of making profit very very easily because you just need to buy these cards during black friday and then sell them on afterwards also if you do have any expensive cards in your club you need to sell them right now and you want to sell most of the players in your club i will be showing you which ones you do want to sell and which ones you want to keep in a minute but you want to sell most of your cards because all cards are going to drop during the next couple of weeks so if you sell your cards now you can buy them back during black friday and make yourself a lot of coins either by selling them on or you can just keep them in your club and you're going to have some spare coins really. So you guys can see right here what I've done is sold everything in my club other than a couple of non-rare cards which don't sell for anything or that I'm keeping as investments for score builder challenges like some of those Dutch players you can see down there. Now I've literally got probably around 5,000 coins worth of players who are tradable in my club. I've got a lot of untradable cards the likes of Pepe, Matuidi, we've got Sterling, Smalling, Isco. Uh, Varane, Thiago, loads of cards which I'm going to be using in my teams. I don't want to be spending like 50,000 coins on a team to actually use right now. Just because I want to sell my cards, I can buy them back during Black Friday. Now you guys can see right here, I have right now uh, got a lot of untradable cards I can use. For those of you who don't know uh, that uh, you can actually get very, very cheap cards by doing, for example, score builder challenges. For those of you who haven't done these... Then you want to build, let's say, maybe a 10,000 coin team. I will leave an annotation in the top right-hand corner to a really good 10,000 coin squad builder I have done. So maybe go and pick that team up if you don't have any untradable cards. It is a really good way of just picking up some cheap uh, gold cards really very, very easily just by converting uh, non-rare cards into rare cards using the gold upgrade squad builder challenge. Something I did a lot towards the beginning of the game. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of untradable cards and very, very few tradable ones though. So you want to sell the majority of your tradable cards, uh, unless maybe you've got a player who plays for your favourite team and you've played a lot of games with all your packs that you may want to keep. I'd recommend just selling everyone else who goes for more than around a thousand coins and their price is just going to drop 
in the next week or so. You can then buy them back during Black Friday. You want to keep an eye on their prices on footbin.com. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And you can see their prices. And once they kind of start to level off, once they stop dropping in price and uh, once they kind of just stay at the same price and bottom out, that's when, when you then want to buy them back. You can sell them back on after Black Friday if you want and you'll be able to make some coins. Now you do want to make just a cheap team. You guys can see this is my team right here. Two players in it are tradable. That is Aurea and Ali. Other than that, it's a full untradable team. And uh, yeah, I've hardly had to spend any coins on it at all. Probably around 4,000 coins. This is what you want to do. You want to sell all your cards and then you're just going to have a very, very cheap team that you can use and you can buy back any of your more expensive cards during Black Friday. Black Friday is also a great time to do trading. You can do sniping. You can do mass bidding trading as well. Two very, very effective ways of making coins. I'm going to be doing videos on those methods kind of in more detail, specifically for Black Friday in the next couple of days as well. Uh, but pretty much all the trading methods I have covered are going to be working even better during Black Friday just because loads of people are going to be listing cards on the market. Everyone undercuts their cards during, for example, a lightning round where there's maybe 10,100k packs out. People are going to want to just rush and open those packs, open as many as they can. And that means they're going to not check the price of players. So they may undercut them and list them up very, very cheaply without even checking their prices. You're going to have people just wanting to sell their cards as quickly as possible. So undercutting the prices, making them go down even lower. So you just want to try and snipe those cards. You can get some really good deals there. I will be doing videos though, so don't worry about that. I've got a lot of uh, kind of Black Friday trading methods come out in the next couple of days. But as I said, just keep an eye on the prices on Footbin. And you can see they're still dropping. You want to buy your cards once they do get to the lowest. You can invest in cards like Renato Sanchez. You could get him for around 4,000 coins probably during Black Friday when the, when the prices are at their lowest. And then sell them on for maybe 10,000 coins after Black Friday. The prices are going to go up steadily after Black Friday as there are going to be less packs. And more people are going to be uh, kind of just having cards on in their clubs really. They're not going to be opening a lot of packs and getting new players and listing them on the market. So prices will steadily go up as less cards are available on the market but it happens every single year a lot of people are saying there's going to be a crash before the crash that's actually bigger than the market crash during black friday if that makes sense i know matt hd gamer and some other youtubers have been talking about that and that is to do with people listing up their cards panic selling them right now uh, you do want to sell your cards as quickly as possible the ones you do it have in your club that's a very very important thing sell any cards you have in your club as soon as possible as soon as you're watching this video sell them because their price are going to just keep on falling and keep on getting lower and lower so you do want to sell them on as soon as possible uh, because their prices are just going to keep dropping and you're going to be losing out. So sell them as soon as possible and buy them back when they do reach their lowest. I'll probably put a picture on Twitter, maybe a tweet on Twitter, anything like that that will help you guys out kind of when to actually buy your cards back. If that does make sense, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to update you guys with the best times to sell your players, the best time to buy them and all that stuff like that. But so uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions about Black Friday, be sure to comment down below. Now, that is what the comment section is for because I may not have covered everything in this video. I think I may have, but if I haven't, then you do have any questions, then just comment down below. I'll try and help you guys out. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like if we could get 100 likes. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you are new around here. Thanks a lot for the support on the channel recently. I'm actually going to be streaming tomorrow as well on Friday at uh, around 7 p.m. So yeah, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll probably be doing some trading and stuff like that. So if you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video, take care.